The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, happy Tuesday, everybody. It is ClickWid back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team update for you guys. And as you see on your screen, we're taking a look at the EA Sports Mutt Twitter account. And right now, they do have hints. Well, not even really hints. They're just coming out and saying it. Ultimate Freeze is coming back to Madden 17 Ultimate Team. If you guys have played in years past, Ultimate Freeze is typically one of the best promos that they do every single year. They try and do it right before the holiday season. And obviously what they're trying to do is get people that get that Christmas money to spend some of that Christmas money on mud. So what they end up doing is some crazy, crazy promos. They have things like out of position players. So like you would have like a, just as an example, a Terrell Pryor quarterback card. We obviously know that Terrell Pryor has actually played quarterback before. So that one's not a great example. But another one might be like Julian Edelman as a quarterback. Or uh, they've had like Calvin Johnson in the past as a free safety. And I think really the only caveat for these things is that the player has to have at least like played one play at that position. So like, for example, at the end of a game, when the other team's throwing a Hail Mary, there are times where a, a team will put their wide receiver back in the uh, back of the end zone to make sure that they can swat the ball down. So that would be an example of like one of the wide receivers playing free safety or strong safety or whatever the case might be. So I would be surprised if we don't have that again this year. And I'll be honest with you guys. I've said it in the past. I think those are the most fun cards to play with in the game. Because you get like some of those weird type things. Like I said with like the really tall wide receivers. Like maybe even a Mike Evans this year or something like that. Playing safety. So you rarely are going to have the opportunity to play safety with a six foot five player. So that's the kind of guy that can go up and get those interceptions and really knock down the ball in SWAT situations. So it's always nice to have those type of guys. Ultimate freeze is usually a time where we start to get some of those players. Um, and then obviously that will bring us into maybe some of the stuff like the ghost of Madden's past and present and future like we've had in the past. And a lot of those cards are really great as well. So it's nice to see that as as probably coming to the game I would say in the next couple of days I would be surprised if they waited much longer than that they usually give us like one or two days in advance notice um, on big promos like this so that you know they they want you to spend the coins on it when it comes out or the, or the money on it when it comes out the next thing obviously you see the EA Sports Madden NFL uh, Twitter account also changed their header and this is again along the lines of the ultimate freeze it doesn't actually say ultimate freeze so this might have nothing to do with it. I'm not 100% sure, but we do definitely know that uh, for certain, Mutt is going to have Ultimate Freeze in it. That, that last thing that we saw definitely gave that away. And they actually put this one up, by the way, on the standard EA Sports Madden NFL. This was up, I think, on Monday, possibly even on Sunday, but it was definitely up on Monday. So uh, certainly they've been dropping hints at this, and I do expect that Ultimate Freeze is going to be coming to the game within the next day or two. Last but not least, guys, we did get a patch update today, and this is on the official EA blog, and I can leave a link to that in the description below, but basically, they made some gameplay updates, very small, um, they're calling it a title update, usually I think that they would call title updates, um, usually you would see something bigger than this, but I'm not exactly sure what the actual difference between a patch and a title update is, because I think they've done two different things in the past. Usually, if I remember correctly, the, the patches are usually smaller, title updates are usually quite a bit bigger, more encompassing. But either way, the big thing here, guys, is that they did fix that glitch that we talked about, I think maybe about a week or so ago, uh, when they did the previous title update. When you put your players in motion, it was actually making it so that uh, if you hot routed them, they would do what you had originally set them up as, like the original route. Um, so that made things kind of glitchy because you could take routes that were not intended to do certain things and really exploit certain zones. So, uh, yeah, this is definitely a nice improvement. I'm glad that they decided to do that because obviously that was unintentional. The other big thing, and this is one that I believe cost one of the players. It might have been D. Jones, but I'm trying to remember who it was. Uh, it cost them at least one touchdown. 
and that was when you would hot route some of your players, uh, especially on um, when you were taking like your running back and putting them in motion. A lot of times the quarterback, if it was a play action, would like stand there instead of actually going into his animation for his drop back. So you would end up having a quarterback just stand there for like a second or two uh, and you couldn't do anything. It was like a statue glitch or something like that. I don't know what the hell people were calling it, but it was really, really bad. And what ended up happening is obviously the good players were exploiting that. They were sending heat at the opposing team and it was just killing them immediately. And, and basically, if you hit the quarterback when they're standing there, not moving at all, it's going to be a fumble. So we saw that obviously in the Madden Championship and that cost somebody a game, really, or at least it changed the momentum definitely in that game. So uh, it's nice to see that that was improved and, and taken out of the game. And then the other thing is that they did make a couple various upgrades. That's all they're saying for the ultimate team holiday experience. We don't re necessarily know what that's going to mean. It's possible that we could have something really goofy in the game at some point. Um, not exactly sure what exactly yet. You know, it could be some weird player or something like that that shows up in, in certain challenges or something like that. Who knows? Uh, and then the last thing, enhanced preparations to help deal with the upcoming freeze. Again, don't know what that is. It could be weather related. That would definitely be something that I think EA could potentially do. Make it so that pretty much every game that you play or at least solo challenges are all in the winter, um, in the snow. Obviously, if it's indoors, I don't know if they'll do that. But either way, guys, uh, that is the update. Hopefully, you guys learned something from this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. And hopefully, you guys are excited for the Ultimate Freeze. I definitely am. So if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.